The Magna Carta, or Great Charter, was a document that established important rights and principles in England in 1215. It was the result of a conflict between King John and his rebellious barons, who wanted to limit his power and protect their liberties. The Magna Carta became a symbol of the rule of law and the rights of the people against tyranny. BPO workers are those who provide business process outsourcing services, such as call centers, data entry, accounting, and IT support. They are often employed by multinational corporations that outsource their operations to countries with lower labor costs and less regulation. BPO workers face many challenges and risks, such as low wages, long hours, poor working conditions, job insecurity, harassment, and discrimination. A Magna Carta for BPO workers could be a way to improve their situation and ensure their dignity and welfare. It could define their rights and responsibilities, set standards for their work environment and compensation, and establish mechanisms for their representation and protection. A Magna Carta for BPO workers could also benefit the industry as a whole by enhancing its reputation, quality, and productivity. A Magna Carta for BPO workers is a proposed law that aims to protect the rights and welfare of workers in the business process outsourcing BPO industry in the Philippines. The BPO industry is one of the fastest growing and most profitable sectors in the country, employing more than 1.3 million people and generating billions of dollars in revenues. However, BPO workers also face many challenges and risks such as long and irregular working hours, low wages, lack of benefits, poor working conditions, health and safety hazards, and violation of contracts. A Magna Carta for BPO workers would address these issues by providing for the following, the right to organize and join labor unions, which would enable BPO workers to collectively bargain for better terms and conditions of employment the right to a living wage, which would ensure that BPO workers receive adequate compensation for their work and can afford their basic needs, the right to benefits, such as health insurance, social security, retirement plan, maternity leave, paternity leave, vacation leave, sick leave, and other incentives, the right to decent working conditions, which would guarantee that BPO workers have access to clean, and comfortable facilities, equipment, and amenities. The right to health and safety, which would protect BPO workers from physical and mental stress, fatigue, noise pollution, eye strain, ergonomic problems, and other occupational hazards. The right to security of tenure, which would prevent BPO workers from being arbitrarily terminated, transferred, or demoted without due process. The right to due process and grievance mechanism, which would allow BPO workers to file complaints and seek redress for any violation of their rights or contracts. The right to education and training, which would enable BPO workers to enhance their skills and knowledge and pursue career advancement opportunities. A Magna Carta for BPO workers would not only benefit the workers themselves, but also the industry as a whole. It would improve the quality of service delivery, increase employee satisfaction and retention, reduce turnover and absenteeism rates, foster a culture of professionalism and excellence, and promote a positive image of the Philippines as a global leader in the BPO sector. A Magna Carta for BPO workers is a proposed legislation that aims to protect the rights and welfare of workers in the business process outsourcing industry. BPO workers are those who provide services such as customer service, technical support, data entry, transcription, and other tasks to clients from different countries and time zones. According to some sources, a Magna Carta for BPO workers could have the following benefits. It could improve the quality and productivity of BPO services by ensuring that workers have decent working conditions, fair wages, health and safety standards and access to training and career development opportunities. 
it could foster a more collaborative and respectful relationship between BPO workers and clients by promoting mutual understanding, trust, and communication. It could also prevent discrimination, harassment, and abuse of BPO workers based on their nationality, gender, age, or other factors. It could empower BPO workers to organize and join labor unions and to participate in collective bargaining and dispute resolution processes. It could also provide them with legal assistance and representation in case of contract violations or labor disputes. It could contribute to the social and economic development of the countries where BPO workers are based by creating more jobs, generating more income, and enhancing the skills and competencies of the workforce. A Magna Carta for BPO workers could be a game changer for the industry that employs millions of people around the world. It could also be a model for other sectors that rely on outsourcing or remote work. By protecting the rights and interests of both workers and clients, a Magna Carta for BPO workers could make the industry more sustainable, competitive, and innovative.